Hello, my name's Tim Comin. I'm a Technical Director of Ionix Advanced uh, Technologies and I'd like to talk to you today about high strength piezoelectric materials for extreme environments. We have a poster on the Wednesday, it's in session C2P14, so happy to answer any questions at that time. So, Ionix, who are we and what do we offer? Ionix manufacture a bespoke family of piezoelectric materials. They're like PZT, they look and smell like PZT, but they offer unrivaled performance to our clients in three main aspects, which I'll talk about in the coming slide. Strength, thermal compatibility and temperature. We work with our clients in a number of ways. For some, we supply the piezoelectric material directly for them to make into sensors, but we do design and manufacture sensors uh, for our clients directly. Examples are shown here on the top, on the far right of the image and we work in a number of different sectors. So the first aspect um, is strength. So if I click the image in the top left, you can see how flexible our ceramic material is. You can't do this with PZT, you can't do this with any other piezoelectric material, it's extremely strong. It's transformation toughening mechanism that makes it strong, the same mechanism that you see in zirconia. So our clients use this to machine very, very fine features. In the example in the bottom left are some diced sections of, uh, of ceramic. Uh, the wall thickness is just 17 microns. The height is 750 microns, giving an aspect ratio of about 40 to 1. The other aspect is high temperature and high sensitivity at the same time. If we compare the sensitivity of our material to bismuth titanate, top right hand image for both shear and direct mode there's a significant difference in sensitivity of our material which will give you advantages in signal to noise specifically in shear mode we have over 20 times the sensitivity of bismuth titanate and this allows our customers and our clients and our partners to use these materials in many different ways just some examples shown in the bottom left ultrasonic floor and crack detection uh, thickness and level sensing, flow metering, um, vibration shock, accelerometers and pressure sensing. Another significant aspect of uh, our material which is useful to our clients is the fact that we have a positive thermal expansion coefficient in our materials all the time. It's unknown to most people but PZT gets thinner when you heat it up and that's not what we see in our material. It's always positive. The fact that PZT gets thinner causes problems when you try to thermally match PZT to other materials. We don't have that problem. So in the top right, you can see some steel sensors, uh, 316 and 304. Uh, these are very high temperature ultrasonic sensors working at uh, high frequency. And in the bottom right, this is an image of uh, our ceramic directly bonded to a piece of titanium and it works permanently and allows our customers to sense at temperatures uh, greater than 400 degrees centigrade. So thanks for listening. Uh, hope to see you at my poster on Wednesday. Many thanks.